But first this evening, SWAT teams step in following an incident spanning two states. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. I'm Jessica Cartalia. Hours after this all started, we are still piecing together exactly mm -hmm. what happened. Here's what we learned so far. This reportedly started in Wilmington and continued into Chichester, where someone was carjacked. That resulted in a police chase that dramatically ended in Chester. A car riddled with bullets, an SUV on its side, and dozens of police officers surrounding the scene. CBS Philadelphia reporter Kerry Carrado is live to help untangle a very complicated scene. Carrie. Jess and Yuki, this was a very large crime scene, and police were here for hours. In fact, they just wrapped up their investigation, but it's still far from over once they try to piece all of this together. The police chase ended right here in this area, and investigators say the woman they were chasing broke into a random home, and I spoke with a man who says his family was inside. Gunshots on Curlin Street in Chester. Police had their guns drawn and were taking cover behind cars and shields. Chopper 3 captured the tense scene from above. Bullet markers were laid out all over the streets. CBS News Philadelphia could see a maroon car with bullet holes and a flipped black SUV. Yeah, it was crazy. It was so crazy. Justin Burton says he never drove faster after he got a terrifying phone call from his family saying someone randomly broke into the house bleeding on Tuesday. She climbed through the window. She break it or push it open? Yeah, she pushed it up and just pushed the AC through and just climbed right through it. He says his family was able to make it out safely, but shortly after a shootout happened. Sources say a police chase started in Wilmington, went through Chichester, ended here on Curlin Street in Chester. CBS Philadelphia learned that a woman broke into a random home and then tried to steal a car and is eventually shot and killed by police. Neighbors can't wrap their minds around it all. Sitting in your house, you're just chilling. Someone kicks in your window waving a gun. It's crazy. Just a random house. Never met the girl. They don't know her. None of that. Drivers who just happened to be passing through the area were told to leave too. Don't take nothing. Just go. Just run. So as we run up the street, all you hear is a bunch of shots start going off and everything like that. We were just getting out the way. Zach, who owns Supreme Exterior Care and was just working in the area, ended up being stuck in the crime scene. There was hundreds of rounds going off. Neighbors just couldn't believe what they woke up to. No, I wasn't expecting this. Now, police say the woman they were chasing was wanted in connection to a shooting that happened on December 2nd. The medical examiner also just left as well. Yuki Jess.